Malika Hope with Connecticut Perspective TV. We're here in Putnam at 85 Main, a nationally known restaurant that people enjoy for everything from macaroni and cheese to very fresh sushi. Well, what are you waiting for? Join me as I go inside and see what's cooking. <laughs> the executive chef and one of the owners of 85 Main and his fish. <laughs> so what are we doing here, James? Well, we're going to be uh, we're going to be filleting this native caught uh, striped bass mm -hmm. and uh, serving this in a um, saffron pan sauce, okay. uh, pan seared oven roasted, and uh, it's going to be delicious. And now I'm finally up here in the kitchen with James. And what's the next step we have? We're going to pan sear the uh, fish that we just broke down okay. uh, downstairs, the uh, striped bass from uh, Rhode Island. All right. Now that we've got a nice hard sear on this, we're just going to give this one quick flip. I'm going to put this uh, into the oven. One more olive oil, a little bit of butter, some garlic, some green onion, tomato, the fresh more salt. Oh, that smells so good. Artichoke hearts that we quartered. Shreds of saffron. Let it do its thing for just a second. I'm going to hit this with white wine. And allow the herbs and the saffron to bloom. A pinch of red chili flake. A little bit of spice? Just a little bit of spice. Okay. Some more herbs, parsley, a little more thyme. At the very end, I'm going to put in just some uh, Kalamata olives that we've pitted and uh, quartered. One more touch of salt. And here we have it, striped sea bass with saffron pan sauce. Mm. Very good, James. It is my honor to say that I'm here with Carol Spinney. And Carol Spinney is not only Big Bird and has been Big Bird for how many years? Uh, 44 years. 44 years. He is also Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, have a rotten day. <laughs> And what is it you like so much about 85 Main? Well, it, it, we can truthfully say it is our favorite uh, restaurant. They cook anything I want here. And uh, I've never seen a place so accommodating. And you always come here with your beautiful wife, Deborah. I do. And uh, we're always together. 85 Main is the place where the food is so good, even Oscar the Grouch leaves happy. That's true. All right. I'm here with James, the executive chef. And you're going to tell us about all these wonderful dishes? Absolutely. Oysters freshly shucked from Prince Edward Island. Uh, our raw bar shrimp. This is what we call our six and six. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to our uh, roasted beef and goat cheese uh, salad. Uh, we've herb crusted our goat cheese, roasted in the oven with fennel uh, grapes, and we've got uh, basil oil and lemon vinaigrette uh, dressed native greens. Mm -hmm. All right, we're moving on to the, uh, the scallop dish. This is a dish that I, I made for my, my mother. This is a maple glazed uh, sea scallops, pan seared oven roasted uh, with a sweet potato, red onion, uh, fennel hash, mm -hmm. and a native of, uh, seared Swiss chard uh, with a little bit of garlic in there just for a little extra flavor. Then we've got our bootlegger. This is uh, one of our best-selling burgers. This mm -hmm. is locally raised grass-fed beef uh, from Devon Point Farms here in Woodstock, Connecticut. Uh, it is served on a, a bun from Soleil and Sons, which is also in Woodstock, Connecticut. It, that is our baker. Uh, and the bootlegger aspect is, uh, is a Jack Daniels barbecue sauce mm -hmm. that we make here in-house. Here, this is the, the pan-seared uh, native striped bass with a uh, saffron pan sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what we prepared in the kitchen. Uh, we've got uh, also the uh, apple pie cheesecake, which everybody loves to uh, finish their uh, their meals, of course, with some kind of confection that's nice and sweet. So. What do you think is the number one thing about 85 Main that draws people from all over? I'd like to think that it's uh, the freshness of the ingredients that we're using and that we're, we're utilizing on a day-to-day -day basis. We're keeping mm -hmm. everything as fresh, locally sourced as we possibly can. Uh, it's serving up in a creative fashion, and I think that piques everybody's interest and keeps them coming back. All right, well, let's have a cheers. Your bourbon and my pumpkin martini. Congratulations. Cheers. Much more success to you, James. Thank you very much. Jeff, what is your perspective on 85 Main? Well, I really enjoy the oysters on the half shell. And I love the homemade fish cakes. Mm. They are my favorite. All right. And what about Marcus over here? What is your perspective on 85 Main? This is actually my first time here, and I had the uh, sushi bento box, and um, the fish was very fresh, and I really enjoyed it. Have you? Are you a sushi aficionado, or? I, I am. I eat sushi. Tend to eat sushi about three times a week. So okay. yeah, it was it was a very good experience here. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. 
You know, they call this part of Connecticut the quiet corner, but our experience here at 85 Main has been anything but quiet. We got to meet Big Bird, Oscar the Grouch, see a fresh fish fillet. I can't wait to come back to 85 Main.